Hey guys, it's your girl Peggy here. Welcome back to my art channel. So today I'm going to show you how I drew Van Gogh's Starry Night using colored pencils. Yeah, it's so much fun doing the miniature version, but with the miniature version, a lot of details are lost in it because it's so small. So I think this drawing deserves a larger scale version so that we can do all the little details that Van Gogh put in in his Starry Night painting. So I started off by giving a general outline of where things are, like this tree in the foreground, where the mountains are, where the sky ends, and all the large swirls on the sky. Next, I use a black colored pencil to fill in the darkest shades first. I always start off with the darkest color and then gradually move on to the lighter colors. Now I'm starting to add other colors in. I'm starting off with dark blue color pencil. And now I'm adding in some of the brown colors that I see in the painting. As well as the yellows and the orange. And now I am adding in lighter shades of blue. Alright, so now that I'm done adding in all the colors, the next step is the blending process. So I'm using a colorless blender pencil to do the blending. So for the lighter areas, I'm using a white color pencil to do the blending. And then with the darker shades, I'm using the blender pencil. And while you're doing the blending, be sure to go in the direction of the swirls in the sky. So the blending process is kind of like mixing the colors. You know, with acrylic or oil painting, you mix the colors on the palette and then you put it on a canvas. But for colored pencils, it's kind of the opposite. You put the colors onto the paper and then you blend it on the paper itself. I love the blending process because this is where um, the drawing kind of comes to life. Alright, so once I'm done with the blending process, you can see that some of the colors look a little bit washed out. So now I'm adding colors back to the drawing. You know, to kind of saturate the colors more and adding in details. And as well as to sharpen all the edges.
So now I'm moving on to the lower half of the drawing. This is where the village is. So I'm using my black pencil to do the outline of all the little houses and the little trees and the bushes. And once the outline is done, I started adding the colors. And I always start with the darkest color first, so this is the dark blue. And then I add a little bit of green. And I gradually add in the other colors that I see in the little village. Like there are some green, there's some red, um, some yellow and orange. So next comes the blending process. Just like the sky, I'm using a combination of the blender pencil to blend in the darker areas and I use my white colored pencil to blend in the lighter areas. Again, in this blending process, you can see the village slowly coming to life. And once I'm done blending, I'm adding colors back to the village and the mountains to saturate the colors. And I noticed that some of the areas I kind of overcolor it and I want it to be in a lighter shade. So I'm using my electric eraser to erase some parts uh, to create the highlights. So instead of using white, sometimes you can just use your eraser to erase parts to get white. Now I'm filling in the rest of the background. I think that's the lighter part of the sky and some mountains. And now I'm coloring the big plant that's in the foreground. I start off with some brown and then gradually add in black. You know, if my art teachers back in college were seeing this, they'll probably not be happy with me using black pencil. You know, back in college, they always say you cannot use black, you know. Nothing is truly black. You always have to mix it with something else or, you know, use dark brown or dark blue to create black. Never use pure black, you know, that's like the rule back in school. Yeah, and here I am using pure black to do the outline. Um, I, which I don't think it's wrong per se because sometimes I really need the darkness of the black to give contrast to the other shades, so... But that being said, my black areas are not just black alone, it's always mixed in with other colors. You know, so it's never pure black, it's black with something else. Alright, so now that I'm done blending the whole um, drawing, I'm using a uh, black marker, a black sharpie marker. Using this black sharpie marker must be a big no-no back in school again. <laughs> well first, we never use sharpie. And again, it's pure black, but you know, I really need the darkness of it, so... I'm using my black sharpie to add in a little bit of a black color and then I use my rolled up paper stump to kind of spread the ink around.
Next, I'm using a white paint acrylic marker to add in white highlights to the drawing. So I'll add a little bit of white paint onto it and then I'll use my rolled up paper stump to spread the ink around. So after I'm done with the white highlights, I consider it done. Yeah, so this is how I drew Van Gogh's Starry Night using colored pencils and ink. And feel free to suggest what other um, famous artworks you guys would like me to recreate using colored pencils. Feel free to let me know. Or you would like me to draw other um, stuff, you know, like um, celebrities' portraits or movie posters. Feel free to let me know down in comments. And be sure to subscribe as I'll be uploading more drawing videos. And go check out my eating shows on my eating channel as well. So thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you being here. I will see you all in my next video. Nummy, 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 nummy.